The reason why we're winning next season is because we ha- I have The reason why we're winning next season. The reason why we're winning the league ne- next season is mm-hmm. because tuko na baba yao. Baba yao ni baba yao like the the guy who is their father. Liverpool and Chelsea's current coach. Mm. There's a guy who taught them. He's took his dad. You you new new mko mtoka homeboys. I'll give you I'll give you a perfect scenario. Mhm. Sawa. Mm. I would I really want to hear this. <laughs> Go for it. Just Perfect. think it through, take your time. <laughs> so, take your time. Ragnik is Jimani. Uh-huh. <laughs> Klopp is <laughs> John. No. Klopp and Tuchel is Calvin and Andy Young. Uh-huh. Who do you who do you trust? Who do you, who do you put a money on? Well, I like Andy Young. Fuck <laughs> off. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. We have to start with the elephant in the room. Why is Eric here? Number one, wait. Are we running the, out of guests? What? Are we running out of guests? What do you mean? Are Eric we, is a top. Ask, asked, Eric is a top I quality need to send lad. Invoices. Send your Zoom. I'm just saying. Can I send an invoice we, to you? I've been here for like the last one year, bana. Ata feel jai ni patia. It looks Eric, like his invoice Eric, is already Eric, ready. Eric Ata feel jai ni patia. Ata feel jai ni patia. Huh? Eric. Huh? He's more objective than you. Really? Zoom. I swear. Ata feel jai ni patia. Nani mimi? Fea tu home peke yake. Na kwa kosa kuna grimpia sasa hii ujumwe kia mafuta. We're going to get into that. Face like 2k peke yake kwenda tu langacho. So we'll sort it out and don't. Okay, okay, okay. Hapa si shida. So anyway, Eric, juzi juzi tuliona some some guy Gormaya, he's the president. I'm a nani? Yeah, the chair. Yeah, bana. With the jersey Gormaya kuna ka printed numbers bana. Ni hebu gani gani ndogo ndogo toibisha bana. You know we are Kenya, we are Kenyans. Oh, no, we no, but you want to go to Jama? We want to play with Gormaya. No, no, no. Listen, one. listen. He had planned a meeting with Gormaya in a club, and Gormaya knew that that guy was coming for the meeting, mm-hmm. so they should have planned early enough. Oh, Leon, even Oka Nyamaza. No, no, no. We were surprised where we were seated, and Alikujana and he was presented to it. What did you say? We said that's a bit embarrassing. Did you, you say that? that? You said that they're live. No, like of course they didn't hear us guys saying that, but. We oh, thought. so need to really, huh, that's embarrassing. No, oh, but it's just, just but you see, rumors we at the back. Not, like, we were not like the main guys. We were not like the main guys. We were not guys. We were just like PR people, like organizing the meeting, nini, the media side of the meeting and stuff. But that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Size Especially 76, font, they, aerial, bold. <laughs> but they <laughs> like corrected. Center, make sure you center it. <laughs> but we corrected oh my God, that. Man. They corrected that later on. We went on and got a better shot. Like, so, we were going to get a better shot. Yes, and then Ozil is gonna get a real shot, green and white. He's not Which one? What do you mean, real? Hmm? But then, if I want to buy an original Gourmet jersey, where do I buy them? You need to treat Gourmet and ask them. I don't work for <laughs> Gourmet. <laughs> do you think? Do you think it was a tactic by so Gourmet to get, uh, you know, jerseys sponsored by Ozil? I don't know. I don't think. Maybe. Could have been a tactic, and honestly, if it was a tactic, I'd be like, "That's a really good tactic." I mean, it, so many guys have succeeded getting associated with Ozil. Yeah, a lot of people. Mm. So many, <laughs> yeah. so many, so many careers have been That's born. What I'm by Ozil Tactics. giving shots, shots, yeah. Ozil career. And, and I mean, is it is it any This coincidence that one of the Ozil guys on radio for like two years, three? Excuse me, Adam. Excuse me. He made up his career from criticizing Ozil. Who, if Gormaya were gonna choose someone. To help them get jerseys from Otsil, they choose someone who succeeded in, in the first place. Uh, you get what I mean? Yeah. Because this guy's not a Gormaya fan. I uh, actually. He's, he's never fan? said Gormaya to me in the last six months. He's never even discussed it once. You know, we used to have like Gormaya chants coming on the show. That story is gone. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was like we tried including Kenyan football in the show, failed. But <laughs> it's failed. <laughs> it's failed. <laughs> um, and it wasn't because the show. <laughs> But all I'm saying is, <laughs> they wanted to make sure they could get jerseys, any potential jerseys, Nike, you know, that kind of stuff. They'd have to get the main guy himself. Yeah, but they, uh, Eric, Fungoro Yako, just tell us because there's a lot of talks going on that Ozil made your career. Ozil did not make my career. Before, before, oh, listen, listen. Let me finish. Are we getting into this? Yes, we're getting into this. People are saying, "Oh, my, what to come turn down?" We need to clear it. Yes, uh-huh. we need to Eric, clear are we getting into this. You know, Eric is the subject of this conversation. No, no, we need to talk to Isha. What you want to talk about? Yeah. 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 People are saying that before Ozil uh, tweeted and gave you a shot to give some kid, ulkuanga no genga mabara rugby na. Yeah. You are deep in the trenches in rugby. Raga House. Raga House. I have a news website. Rugby website. 
Sorry? I have a drug website. Plug it in, man. What the hell? Yeah, it's called I don't think there are many people who have websites in Kenya. Raghahouse.com. That run news. Eric. Yes. Number two, I think it's quite unfair saying that my career was made by Ozil because this guy knew me like three years before Ozil had to happen. I think yeah, he was Ozil, a nobody. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I really like how seeing how you progress. It's a lot of fun. And all this stuff came, I think, in 2019, and I was in the industry like for, let's say, the years before, like five or six years. Oh really? Yeah, the, this guy was still in school. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay, we've seen we've seen so many. Not people. It's you who tweeted. Wait, let me. Wait, you, you mean Saddam Hussein? Exactly, yes. Oh, He's the one who tweeted. I thought you were his friend. I, I am. What do you mean? Oh, okay. But Funny, what's wrong with that? Yeah, no, that's an opinion. It's an opinion. But anyway, <laughs> as so many, we've seen so many, of course, we've, okay. seen, we've seen so many careers and businesses and guys just. Yeah, you need that even, breakthrough. Even, even, you, you need that breakthrough. Like yeah, you can yeah, grind yeah, yeah. in a certain business. To say the truth, when that happened, I think obviously many people like came to know more about me, about. Exactly. I was there the when that stuff, happened. Obviously. Can, I, can I just tell him? Maratona, BBC News are at Homeboys Radio. <laughs> hey, Premier Al-Jazeera. League are here. Al Jazeera are wondering like he's out. Mm-hmm. Who's this Eric guy? And then Lothan and I got stopped in the corridor. Like, just tell us something about Eric. Oh, Eric's a great <laughs> oh guy. Oh my god. You know? <laughs> Eric's a great guy. He's always doing this charitable shit. Um, yeah, Eric is always looking for kids like Lawrence to make a big deal out of. The kids to Lawrence. Yeah. It's called Lawrence. He yeah. actually lives away in Langaja. So do who only Mahamisha I wanna share before. Wait, so and that's it. what exactly happened by the way? Like me, I, me You I, need to go and watch the news. It's an old clip though. Yeah, can you, you just nah so essentially so you can go to the BBC. Okay. That's not the point so of and read the story. That's not the point no, of that so question. Me, I'm new. Add value to the YouTube show, please. <laughs> so see this guy is we'll Let me uh-huh. give you the story in yes, like in like we'll the Listen, news. in fact, you can talk and talk to you and so i was walking to langata and check out to karen sasa nikitembea then those akin bele yangu na ngombe like like foot cows in Nairobi kuna foot cows in Nairobi are like is ngombe zinafanani kwa njia sai and then obviously I saw the shadow street and all the by amakapen oh nikamongelesha kwanza nikampiga pin nikamwambia nimpige picha alafu naweza tweet hivyo then nikamwachia foot bob waenda kule mandazi oh. actually mocha 15 bob you know liko nayo kwa mfuko ah <laughs> the 40 bob get together liko 15 bob <laughs> kumbuka it's a lot yeah. it's a lot of more mandazi in 2019 that, 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 that was a big like cash yeah 2019 that was a big cash in 2015 yeah for covid 15 bob for is COVID. eating more mandazi right now let me yeah. tell you right now i'm big that was in december then i tweeted and it got to like 10000 times and man like ozil i think dm'd me towards christmas of 2019 you know the thing is like and then he said he he saw the picture obviously and he's interested to send something and then early 2020 early 2019 mm-hmm. yes early 2019 now they sent stuff obviously they were very worried that that they are sending kids to some random guy in africa they're not sure kama zitafika ama zikifika atauza ama fanya nini but of course they can steal stuff from people i'm a very good person zoom knows that sindio just still jokes on twitter but and there <laughs> so you confirm uh, yeah confirm. okay yeah exactly so they sent stuff and i took them to the kid and then after that after he took the photos to come to me i found there were other kids when you were like they also wish to, uh, to have those shirts and boots and the nini yeah, shorts yeah, yeah. so they sent again for like for like the entire the entire team the entire village team and that was like i think 20 20 20 like full full kids for every kid in the, nice. in the village Yeah, and that's how now our relationship now started with my friend Ozil, who is now the greatest German to ever play in the Premier League. Damn. What a what a nice story. It is, isn't it? Mm. And that's how is. your career got blue. Uh, yeah, you must yeah, have grinded. No, sure. It was like a boost. <laughs> and then it that was, week, that was Premier League got involved. In Formula Melon in come DRS. Yeah, that week yeah, no, I got <laughs> that week the Premier League involved me and yeah. I was called on fan zone and then I went for an interview to see at Citizen TV, Citizen Nini, to be the sub editor sports yeah, and I said how that story went and obviously i think that yeah, was hilarious man this guy left <laughs> us he left homeboys radio and here pa wallahi talk but i can't 
that's a story for another day. Yeah. No, but can, can, we, can we give him some credit? Because some kids, some people see the kids like that, right? And you see a kid, you don't make nothing of it. This guy thought, you know what? Let me do that. Let me try and help this kid. And that's, that's a nice thought. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's move on. Mm. It's, you're bored by now. Yeah. And that's the there's reason nothing. why you match me. Yeah. And actually there's give no you a chance to there's speak no to There's no banter material for you, Eric. Also, the reason why I match you is because Ozil give you some free merchandise. You match me through Zoom. So, so if Ozil don't get my merchandise, that's it? Yeah, it's true. Come so, on. so your merchandise is merchant? No, no. Come on, Ozil don't get my merchandise, but I don't get my career. No, but still, you'd still be, be trekking what? and... Selling mangoes. I don't know where. But there were, uh, uh, people don't mango. sell mangoes in Embu because everyone has a mango tree. So. Oh, it's like one shilling. Export. So uh, we yeah. export, yeah, to Nicaragua, okay. to those countries that Christian oh, likes scoring oh, 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 against. Aye, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye. Listen, Moldova. Listen. We move on. We move on, man. That's a really nice story, Eric. But, Thank you, uh, Eric, who is not a pundit, only a presenter. Yes. Yes. But um, I have opinions. Yeah, that's why you're a presenter because you have opinions. But I'm not allowed to give my opinions, but I will right no, now. No, uh, pundit unless we make a national team. So, but uh, I'm a pundit. At least I was not rejected. <laughs> you got rejected <laughs> by a rambistas. By a rambistas. How could we be rejected by a rambistas? Can we move on? <laughs> no, we can't. You have to explain. Okay. No, 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 no. We don't really. <laughs> by the way, you know what? Yeah. My, you want to take? Who was the All coach? Who was the PSC Mwenge? Can I have my kimanzi? By the way. Kimanzi no liku reject. Uko na I think I have it. So, uh, so uh, do something after. We can actually call him on air so I don't lose why did you reject Saddam Hussein? <laughs> he's, probably, he's a presenter. He, he just said he, on air. We're on YouTube, bro. Oh. Yeah. He's probably dancing somewhere. <laughs> Yo, listen up, man. Obviously, just like last week, we are thankfully in partnership with Tropical Heat for their amazing Heroes Parade crisps. Eric is going to give us his opinions on the tastes. We've given him uh, the cheese and onion, but there's a lot more flavors. Try this and one. Salt and vinegar. Because he's so salty. He's always salty. I still facts, bro. Always salty. I do think you're so salty. You tweet about this. Especially after career. Ronaldo. Ronaldo I think does something. Oh, yeah. Andrea Machan. I actually oh. stopped, and I do think Zoom is not taking over from me. The things he's tweeting of late. Since he got the new iPhone, na put those videos. Really have to bring that up. No, I think Zoom <laughs> now like you're moving away from your side. Now you're coming to my side. What's your side? Being petty. <laughs> 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 All right. So listen up, man. The heroes uh, campaign is exactly that. It's actually helping you become a hero, and you can do that through the several campaigns that they have. Um, so obviously, the different flavors represent different campaigns. There's for health, for wildlife for the community, for uh, you know, education and for the environment. And most importantly for us is through sport. Um, Eric and Eric, you know, for Saddam, for, for Eric, Saddam and I are his heroes in terms of sports when it comes to football, because he's never met such talented uh, football uh, personalities. That's what you think about you're me. The, you're in the same room with the best five star team in this country. How do you feel about that? Well, at least Zoom went to TZ to play Sekafa with <laughs> Miss Milan yes! shirt. Let's go! But for you, and I actually played in Tanzania and I lost. At least I played uh, for look, Kenya. No, once you say but that, for then you, you make whatever no, no, no. I did equal no, yours. But for Saddam, huh? he never played a game. Saddam Ali and the stadium He got rejected. I can be salty, bro. I don't want to play on a garage. So yeah, um, as soon as you purchase one of these, just know that you're taking part in uh, some, you know, for the cause for the greater good. So choose whatever flavor you like for whatever campaign you're passionate about. And yeah, make sure you go ahead and be a hero because with every pack, every act counts. Did you actually miss school on the day of the trials? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> it was a Sunday. Under 20, it was uni, isn't it? It was a Sunday. Oh, it was on a Sunday. You're very lucky. I wish you could go on a Tuesday. I, w- I hadn't started uni. Oh, okay. You never went to uni? I didn't start it. <laughs> when oh. did you start? Uh, 2012. Oh, okay. Over. All right, that's fine, I guess. But oh. anyway, how, what, did you, what did your dad say? Because you know how so much. No, 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 yeah, or maybe even ball boys. Yeah, for Kenya, what? For Kenya. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> to be ball boys for bro, it's the same. We talk about your ball zakwa and the Nazi. You're under the Premier League. 
There was no balls on the table. Watch out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So, come on, go on a balls at least unge make it. Yeah, me I came to play a ball. I didn't come to run around. Oh, yeah, Paul, man. Do you think if you can give be given a chance right now you can make it? N- right With now. With the senior and Bistas team. Right now. Mm. Easy. <laughs> what position would you play? Huh? What position? Number 10. You'd bench uh, Olunga. <laughs> What the fuck is Olunga? Yes. Oh, okay, say it. Say it. Olunga is number nine. Oh, okay. Who's number ten? Uh, exactly. Who's number ten? Me. Oh, okay. So that's fine. All right. Listen. Uh, thank you, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. This isn't the end of the show, by the way. I'm just saying thanks. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let us know your comments in the comment section below. Let's get into it, man, because there's lots to talk about. And uh, first things first. United. Wakuna mje. Wakuna mje Roman. Mje Romani. Uh, Santa. Yeah, another great German. We have very few great, German, uh, tell, great coaches. Hon- honestly, can you tell me any like? Did you really know much about this guy before you signed? Come on, just be honest. I, I, knew, I literally didn't know anything about. I him. knew about him. I, t- I think I said really? this last time. Well, I didn't know He's much the about. The guy coached Keita at Leipzig. So the reason why I knew about and him. Konate. No, Konate. Konate no Juzi. Much later. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I because we were linked with him uh, last year. Yeah. He was actually linked with Chelsea Pia. No, he was but, but you know, he was mostly because he actually left Leipzig to come join Milan. Oh, f- oh, oh, you're talking about yeah, Milan. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So okay yeah, yeah. You know and it. then yeah. Pioli turned everything around and then Maldini was like, you know what? We can't fire a manager who's winning games. Mm. Because and then funny thing is, uh he said R- Ragnik said uh he he criticized Maldini's uh decision to keep uh Kia and to renew Ibrahimovic's contract. So that was like a Renew massive red flag. Yeah, it is. Those are two red flags because right now those are the two Kier, important players. Kia is, is one of your most important players. He is the most important. He's the most important player. And Ibrahimovic, uh, Ibrahimovic rather, he's shown not real ne- impact. Yeah, not necessarily on the teams. pitch, but mentality, the group Look chemistry. You, where and are you all guys that. now? Second. Yeah, second. Yeah, you lost on Sunday. Fast. No, second, second. Yeah. Yeah, we did lose. Uh, that's another story. But oh. yeah, I knew. I knew of him then. Uh, but then again, uh, once you once you're told what what uh, Leipzig have done, we can be to Leipzig, and he was the one in charge. And even you, you, everyone knows uh, the impact of Leipzig in in, in the German German league. Yeah, because how they, how they he come made of a name. You remember the score that had Akina Femino? Mm. He's the guy who made that score. Yeah. He, so so at, in those clubs, was his role? Head coach, manager, technical director, director of football. What was so? It? What he likes is he is a manager, gets things uh, in place, and then gets someone who he's going to teach and make a new of to, and then he gets a senior role. Even to Milan, he was coming to do it for like a few, uh, a couple of months, a year max, and then he gets the role that Maldini has now. That's mm. where the conflict came in, and then he wasn't able to be given that because he wants as a Milan he wants to have control on recruitment, on selling, on player, which is what he's going to be given now under United. He's not only going to be the interim manager; he's also going to be in charge in terms of consultancy for the contract. Yeah, yeah. So that throws a lot of uh, things in the air, like in a Pogba and them. We don't know what's going to happen with them, um, and then he's also going to be in charge of making sure you guys sign the right manager. Let me ask you guys. Yeah, now. which is very important. Have this very question. very important. We know Ralph's way of playing is gegen pressing what happens if he brings in a manager was a different philosophy ama a way of playing he, he doesn't do that so he brings people who believe in his way of doing so things so it has to be the guy who drives that philosophy yeah. where, where, where yes. he has yes that's he, he finds someone mm. who's going to preach what he's so it's going to be the guy who's going to do recruitment for the well, manager for example he's not going to bring in mancini obviously you or know what i mean or pochettino oh he's going to bring some yeah So Probably he's going to be, be the guy Germany. who will help to do the recruitment of the manager. Sorry? He's going to do recruitment of the manager. Yeah, he's going to be in an overall recruitment as in just everything about the, the footballing club. side of the club. Okay. Mm. Basically. And he, that, that's, that, that's usually one of the things that he has to have control over before he coaches the club. And he's going to be a consultant for two years. For two yeah. years. They so can still extend if they want. If it works out well, does that does that set United back a few uh, like in terms of progress? Because at the beginning of this season, right before we s- the season started, you guys signed Ronaldo. You started really well. Sancho. Everybody was thinking Sancho, Ravaran. You know but what I mean? There was always doubt in terms of how we play. No, the, as much as we we finished second last season and third the season before and that, finished in the final Europa League, a, League final. Yes, there was the always questions. This question huh? Because it's a different question. Yeah, my issue is like, mm-hmm. is your expectation changing mid-season? Because initially your expectation was 
he has to win some they have to win to something win this something, season a trophy but you felt you've now changes. done enough to you know create what? something a team okay so this is what changes right right now we're not just trying to win something so that we feel like oh remember with with ole we needed him to win something so that we see he has a capability of winning something mm. that's that's different now now we're trying to build something now we'll have an identity we'll have a way of oh, playing so then everything will come in later hey. how long i'm not you? i'm not too worried about hey. Sujui, you, you know what he's saying one and the process but see the thing is we're not the process to cure way ahead in terms of uh, players yeah, that's we have true. really good number of players that's true but but Ronaldo Pia Saddam this system that he plays you need to pay the right players to do it look like at our place our system obviously it will go on poor players than you right now we was in 2015 you have players it took time a lot of time investment but for you guys Pia this place that you have doesn't mean like what I could do to quick philosophy like directly I I trust you trust me it's going to be easier the the, the players that we have I genuinely believe now my question yeah uh-huh, uh, at least at least 75% of them would work at least 75 now my question that's to good you, enough to start yeah my question to you now is like now you're checking over a new manager how long like do you like are you willing to wait before seeing an, a real big trophy let's say like the uh, next Premier season league? next season we need to challenge for the title there's no question about it I don't no want doubt. you to say challenge I want you to say you expect us to win the Premier League this Manchester time Manchester United Like Bro. what and we're but not going cha- to pressure you. Challenging is expecting we're to not win. Go- no no no, you see like near challenging now. I can't say I'm going to win. Leicester last it's season challenging, challenging to win at some point. No no no, I not Leicester. Listen. Liverpool and City Mukiada this season you are hoping to challenge and fight for the title. We, no, mm-hmm. we are contending like the three of us right now. That is exactly. And that's who feel that they can challenge. No, what's the difference? Like, well, no, 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 no. Challenging and contending no, is different. No, 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 no. Look at look at West this way, challenging right? for the top four. So who said top four here? No, 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 no. I'm not saying about top four. I'm just defining for you challenging challenge and contending. And actually, be contender. So you can't say we're going to challenge. We are trying. We will try and make sure we win the title next season. Next think, season. Yes. So you do feel. You still sound like you're on the fence. So you do feel, Sadam. You do feel that the new manager will come in and everything will work. And by But next season, honest, you Eric, can he can deliver Eric, the Premier League. It's too soon to even discuss. Honestly, that. that's why I asked him. Like what time? I didn't give him time. Like specifications. Yeah, but but we don't even know who the manager is gonna be. No, no. Within six, no, honestly, he can't. Listen, if he doesn't find someone, it's who's not like they're so easy. bad. At Adabaki, there's a chance he's going to still be the manager for the next two and a half years. Manager? Yes. If he can't find that manager. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Probably we can work so, out on something. And and we, I trust him. Within the next six months, things will change. How long did it take uh, Tuchel to change? Well, yeah, Tuchel had found a really good team. He had man. a very good team. He had the best squad. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we, are, I, don't, I don't think we are so far off. That's the, the thing. Best squad. I don't think we are so far off from Chelsea. What do you mean? In I every don't single position, you're lacking compared to Chelsea. I, uh, listen, when 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 this guy came on, uh, Alonso, Rudiger, all those guys were, but you wouldn't have taken that them. That team had won the Premier exactly. League like two years ago. But right now, with the right manager, all the things have changed. I, I think Bissaka would be phenomenal. Okay. Wait, 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 just repeat fun. that. No, just, just <laughs> listen. This is what I need you to do. I need you to think through what you just said yes. and see if you want to make sure you want to say that again. B- uh, look at this. So, <laughs> Klopp and Tuchel learned from this guy. Uh-huh. Klopp has Trent. Tuchel has James. Hmm. Bissaka would be a combination. Bissaka is a different player from Shut those three. Up. Let me finish. Be, uh-huh. Okay, finish, my friend. Bissaka will be. Bissaka oh. will be the combination of Trent. And Rich James. Bro, Bissaka can't even run, man. With all due respect, Bissaka can't even put a cross. He can run, he can run. Trust no, no, me. Bissaka, I know, I've seen him, he can run. He's okay, a baller. Bissaka, oh, no, Bissaka. What are you talking about? The reason why he can't run. Okay, I'm not like But saying literally run. running, like running like so that. So what, like what, what running? What running? running? Like pace, like good pace. But what do you mean pace? What do you mean? He runs like how? On the Kipchoge. Kipchoge. No, like yeah. be quick. Come on, Nani. At come on, come on, Trent. When you mess up, Rich James. Wait, Bissaka and, uh, and Trent on a, on a sprint. Who's faster? Trent. Who's Angalia faster? Starts. Angalia Who's starts faster? Actually, wait, wait. Joshua King beats Trent the other day in that 4-1 win. Uh, I'm asking you a simple question. What Trent is one of our quickest players after money. After He's not quick. Exactly. So Bissaka, Bissaka is way faster uh, now than Trent. You said, you said Based on FIFA. what Bissaka will be a combination of of Chris James, James and, and Trent. Trent. One of why? the things that Trent Let me does say why. Let me finish my my point. Okay. One of the things that Trent does this? better and Zuma he pended like those crossing and a lot of like Do, see, bringing the ball. Yeah, yeah. he pended. How will Saka really even put that distance? Exactly. Cross. I know that. I know that. But you see me mm. is that good defender. You, uh-huh. need, you need to respect this manager to mom letter. Sawa. You know I'm a funza club. You know I'm a funza to allow to do with all the things they're doing. So that doesn't mean he's going to change let, Bissaka let me, just let, like that. He's going you know why? Even Klopp Ford plays but he changed some players like half of the team. To look one another Klein. It didn't work. 
Akaleta Trent from Bisaka Academy. Bisaka will be the combination of Rhys James and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. I'm still wrapping my head around that. <laughs> Trent Alexander-James. Do you wish to take that back? Please take it back. Oh, Trent, <laughs> Trent, Trent Alexander. Trent, Trent Bisaka? No. Trent Alexander Bisaka. James. United fans, let us know in the comments below if Saddam is deluded or not. And why he is. But then let me tell you, Bisaka. And, uh, let, let, let me tell you, uh, the reason uh-huh. why you guys should be worried. Mm-hmm. Fred, mm-hmm. Huh? Fred the, the reason sauce. why. Mm-hmm. The, reason, the reason why you should. You, you guys from homeboys. Yeah. Especially you two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sawa. Uh-huh. You guys have seen this. Mm-hmm. Sawa. Uh, the reason why we're winning next season is because we ha- I have. The reason why we're winning next season. The reason wow, why we're winning the league ne- next season is mm-hmm. because. Tukona Babayao. Babayani? Babayao. Like the, the guy who is. Their father. Liverpool and Chelsea's. Current coach, mm. there's a guy who taught them. He's mm. Tukil's so, dad. <laughs> you, 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 I you, 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 Who do you who do you trust? Who do you who do you put a money on? Well, I like Andy Young. Fuck <laughs> off! Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, probably Andy Young. Andy Young is a good DJ. He's a good presenter. So, uh, Andy Young is not too clever for club. It's club. It's club. So you you choose Andy Young over Jimani? Yeah. What? I'm confused. Why Jimani, are we even, why are yeah. even choosing G and Calvin and Andy and, and, and Listen, and listen, 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 listen. What listen. does Jimani want? Mm. This ragged guy. What does he want? <laughs> Give me stats. Give me stats. Of what Give me Jimani Andy has stats. Won. Calvin starts. Yeah. G- Calvin and Andy Young have won more than this guy. Jimani has only won DFB Pokal. He's the Marcelo Bielsa of Nini of Germany. Yes. <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> when you when you hear when you hear G speak, it's just wisdom oozing. Like in Saddam. You see, Ona, you have a good point. I have a good point. No, no, listen, listen. Let me I finish. Know, bro, I know I have a good point. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, have, you have good points. Thank you. But you see, it's a manager you're bringing in. Manager coming with this philosophy which wins somewhere. To a different team is a different thing. You need to get the team playing to your system. It will just because it, this it, guy taught yes, Klopp I know, and Tuchel I know, I know. doesn't mean it's gonna work. There I understand. Like if the first season and Man United. I understand it's a different environment. As I said, Marshall will be still Marshall. Listen, one Bizarra will not become Reese James and Trent Alexander, but I understand. He can be Livramento though. Yeah, maybe. I I know it's a different environment. This is not German. This is England. But then again. Jimani came from Jamaica and he's crushing it in Kenya. Well, that was shit. in 207. What? Kenya shit. That was 207 and now it's, it's a new nini, it's a different time. New J- decade. Jimani came to 7. Yeah. That's when he came. Ah, uh, also that's also when Hamilton started for. When? When um, to 7. Legends. Ragnik both, also. Both of them legends. No, Ragnik and Jimani. Not Hamilton? Mm. Okay. So right, come well, Jimani ni this, this Ragnik. Been, this has been what a about, really What about Zoom and Eric? Hey bro, and on. how the streets will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> the streets will never forget. Shit, shit. Wait, wait. Sam Allardyce. I've never been fired. <laughs> Eric is definitely Allardyce. <laughs> yeah, I'm how because I was hired <laughs> by the Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Listen, why, why, this has been the weirdest segment <laughs> of analysis on Ragnik. Juan Bisaka, first of all, is apparently going to become better than Reese James. You heard it from the main man, and. Uh, Eric, for some reason, you think he's actually going to do something in the Premier League. I, I don't know. Listen, I can't say. Listen, my, my, my point about I can't say. You can't, you can't just discuss and yeah, agree that he's going to do, th- it. What's I do it. What's his second name? Huh? Second name, Ekene? It's Ralph Ragnik. Oh. It's Rangnik. My point it's is... It's Rangnik. There's a, I appreciate there's an and I know yeah. the threat that this guy is bringing to your club. It will take time, but I do think you will come good. I don't think it will come good this season or next i don't think you're gonna win the premier league next season you need I to bring know they in win the premier league yeah exactly season, right? i do think you need to bring in like key personalities who like are going to implement the system i think we have good players i, I think don't fred, think i think so. fred would jana fred had a very good game let's look at the managers who have come yeah, to the I premier mean, league it was a great game. and won it Until that managers have come <laughs> to the premier in the last decade conte pep klopp they have had to change their teams to, a lot to the players who like fit their conte system won in his first season to the players that's who fit the system. That's completely different The players who fit, okay, like Klopp and, 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 and Pep Guardiola. 
players who fit no, after his in his sex, next first season, second season he finished fourth he signed player man city do wait, same person like gave him transfer window no he said like pep pep alishinda he he didn't win the first season yes exactly the second and third season he won with 190 and that's now my point pep man city they have so much money they send like four players per transfer window and for, that's what for, they did he, but this yeah. is united every transfer we don't even like august pekiaki so my money. point is huh. i respect that guy i actually like him that's why I i'm know. fearing him going to united he's, he's your daddy he's players. your daddy's daddy keita he likes cuts his dad is so also much. scared by the way yeah, yeah his exactly. daddy is scared club said he's so scared, yeah. i do think that's a good sign for united you guys can be back where you are like in the next couple of seasons thank you so much and i do think the guys should be very afraid it's not even us and this thursday we are to to know well that's too soon <laughs> Uh, we'll talk about that but i do think we're talking about right now but i do think that's a good sign in and in the next couple of seasons like three you, you may be back if you do good investment and bring in players who like can i don't think i don't think we need season. so many honestly you I think, don't have really good we, players can we move on i'm Christian bored of talking about like some guy seasons. we don't even know anything about so we need a striker huh who else <sighs> cavani is leaving like two seasons i said striker. we need another central midfielder pogba is leaving pogba is leaving for free oh, no, we have, we have, no we have listen 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 mate is leaving we have Matic Tomine, we have fred we have Matic. van der beek we have bruno i think midfield you need a better we are okay in the long term in the anyway, short term that's a good left or the best i think i think telles will be transformed who's your second keeper anderson i what do you mean who the hell is that he was playing for england hmm it's been benched now He was playing for England. He, he was also for playing England. for uh, United under 23s recently. Mashallah. Party game time. So he can play for England and and <sighs> he can't get any game time. He's playing for reserves. Who is the best keeper in the Premier League? Aaron Ramsdale. There's <laughs> a point. What point? A shit point. You know what? Oh. You know what? Yeah? <laughs> you know what? I think Edward Mendy and Allison are both the same. Very good at making saves, but with their feet, very awkward guys. They can be very very awkward. What do you mean with the feet? You saw the pass from uh, Edward Mendy. And that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, people make mistakes, but there's an awkwardness there that reminds well, me. When when was the last time Mendy made a mistake, Kamayo? I with with Ujamao, uh, I can mention four. Yeah, five. last season he made a couple of mistakes. The no, Mendy Mendy is one. Mendy Mendy, Mendy is a rare thing. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on him. Oh no. Okay. Mendy and Alisson do play. As I think Mendy is better than Alisson though. Want. Mendy is better than Alisson. That's based Honestly. on one season. Yeah, yeah, based on one season. Okay, thank you. Alison has Alison ever been the best keeper in the Champions League history? Yes, 2019 and even in the world in the season in the yes. season. He wasn't the best keeper. He was he was the best in 2019. How many clean sheets did he keep that season? We don't count clean sheets to make a good goalkeeper. You told me That's that. That's true. That's true. You told What? me that. It's like saying we don't count goals to no, decide no, no. who's the best striker. No, you no, told no, me. No. What are you guys on no, about? No, 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 we can't. Ah, come on. What are you guys on That's about? That's a different thing for strikers. Why? Clean sheet is clean a Kanikazia Nikazia five people. It's a collective thing. But at the end of the day, it it's attributed to one person. No, it's you not. See, okay, let me give you a point. Let me give him a point. Points in FPL. Let me give him a point. Why are the why are gloves being given to the keeper? Karius had the most gloves. Karius had the most clean sheets. Otherwise, it's not relevant. Who? Karius. Was he the best keeper in the world? Of course not. Exactly. But most clean sheets in what? In the in the Champions League. <laughs> he, he might have a point. That's not true. No, no, I'm I'm attacking a point. What do you mean I, it's not true? I really want to see that fact. I doubt that. I true. can get you that. Please get it. Okay. But in the meantime, let's move on to Manchester United Chelsea. Because that was a shit show. That was a boring ass game. That was that was a I expected a 4-0 a... win. What the hell was Chelsea doing? 4-0 to Chelsea. Oh yeah. 3-0 minimum. Because this guy, this Ghanaian kid, also not doing. Should have scored <sighs> like two. A guy man I can't believe Chelsea fans lied to us that he was going to be generational. <laughs> well lie man. He's been generational for the last three years. He's sh- generational because by even Bayern Munich wanted him. <laughs> Bayern Munich wanted him because he was shit. And then they were going to make him good. get shit players and then on Afanya Kali. I agree. It's like, not the other way. Like Leroy Sane and there's, so there's a journalist I Nabri. think there's a journalist Nabri. from I think the standard even in the UK who said Chelsea's over reliance of their defenders to get goals is going to cause them soon. I've been cr- saying this week in week on out on sunday I when said that it's unsustainable a long time ago I on put sunday an word to it the, the, the other word is haram on haram, sunday yeah, when wh- when when they played united you could see to move van was missing chances or dodge. and it's normal by the way van will and miss uh sita and uh left just go on yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. 60 He's million just, as if they didn't pay yeah, 60 million yeah. for him it's like they <laughs> it's like they brought him even on loan you know but they really get the one hitting the post and getting last minute volleys but they have the most expensive forward line in the premier league they have the most expensive everything even goalkeeper yes in the bench Wait. 70 something million yeah, yeah. no that, and they're not getting goals thing. their top scorer is Chris James on four goals yeah no, no, no. Se- last season last season we got Jorginho on penalties yes Jorginho is <laughs> finished by the way <laughs> so last season just Jorginho can we say Jorginho is finished finished with what like he's done he's he's whack now he's actual shit 
I mean, he he's, he's the Italian Granit Xhaka. Oh no, <laughs> Chelsea fans may argue. He's the Italian right-footed Granit Xhaka. Chelsea fans may argue that that was just uh, one game and there's nothing much to worry about. But he does, he does. No, of course, that's a fair argument. He I'm does control no. the game in the Haram way does, he does. quite well. If you look at the title contenders, Chelsea, Nani, Liverpool and Man City, they be united like first half the game was done. Both teams. But for Chelsea, they were at home. They could be united <laughs> without a manager. This United team. This United team. That's the thing. This is the see, best like, time to I beat feel them. like in terms of the title race, the the mental dents uh, that the Liverpool and City games left on men of Chelsea is going to be something that's going to count. It's going to be a factor that's going to play into the title race towards the end of the season. The way City just bullied Chelsea in their own pitch. Yeah. And the way <clears throat> these guys had to park the bus against Liverpool. You know what I mean? I just I don't know man, that shit hurts. You know, like if it's the three of us, you've played leagues before. It's a, if it's the three of us, we will win Chapa. So, but I'm the first in the league. And I'm like only a few points ahead. It Mentally. plays into your mind oh, yeah. the they're fact better. That, they, that they're better. They've dominated us. Oh, yeah, yeah we're better right now with other teams, but they are better than us. Actually, Pep said that thing in 2019. It was really hard for them to stay top mm. when Liverpool were like breathing at their back like, mm. like this. Mm. Mm. So like, that's, that's, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, man. And also remember, this is after Champions League. Huh? This is after they won the Champions League. Yeah, they beat Juventus 4-0. Right? Hey, like in how much, done, how many season. more days? Juventus lost. Juventus Juventus I know, I know, I know. But how mm. many more days like this after Champions League night? You have that kind of hangover. Mm. Will Will it play? Because Liverpool did their thing, Man City did their thing. City actually play PSG. Chelsea have a very mm. massive squad. I don't even think they mm. can. They, they can have two teams play each other. And they can't Premier complain. And they, they can't complain, complain about yeah. the you know the quality or. Kaku was was on the bench. If you ask, if you ask, uh, I mean, I don't even know why he was being brought on to be honest. I mean, he needed a goal and he bring it to Van Aal missing so many chances. So yeah, but Tuchel who? felt. How many goals does Lukaku have? <laughs> I think. I mean, he has good goals. Put Rudiger up front, man. Chris Samba style. Black Tuchel Burn. felt all those chances Lukaku can convert them. <sighs> oh mm. Because I by the way, I think Timo Werner is actually a shit player. I do think. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I've seen him run with the ball. <laughs> I've seen his ideas, and I've decided this player, Arudi Tour, RB Leipzig. Yeah, he's shit. I do he's think. He's actual. Poo-poo. Yeah, you know what? We if we get him. You get to Ralph Ragnick might do something. Oof. We, we, go play work in Leipzig, we will uh, we will jump to Russia in mm. the system. I actually do think we did a good business getting Jota over Timo Werner. Remember we missed out on Timo yeah. Werner. We really pushed on him. Mm. So I wanted to talk about the Jamie Carragher uh, comments. Comments. No, the, the heated... Uh, yeah, so please fill us know, first in. First of all, when I was watching that, I couldn't believe... Please fill us in first for those who didn't so watch. So what happened was uh, there was Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank mm-hmm. uh, in between <laughs> Roy Keane and Jamie Carragher. Jamie. And we were talking about, you know, uh, um, for example, Roy Keane was actually disgusted by how Michael Carrick said, well done to the boys. Jamie Carragher. Sorry, Michael, Michael Carrick, Carrick coming yes. out for the post-match interview and saying at you, oh, you know, well done for the boys to get a point. We set up a certain way. You wanted to win. You wanted to win, mm-hmm. but you know, he we was didn't like, get three points. No, you didn't set up to win. You set up to get a draw, and you're happy with it. And at the same time, you know, you have to be realistic. That's where we are right now. He was, he was telling Jamie Carragher, United are a cup team right now. They're two to three years away from winning a trophy, a major trophy, a league title. Whereas Jamie Carragher was saying, nah, you guys signed Ronaldo, Varane, and Jadon Sancho to come help you win the league. So how could you say, and, and you're united? I can agree with that. That was the main reason why they of signed. Course. Because we finished second last season. So it of was course. like, let's reinforce, let's get these players that we wanted and see if we can. The extra like, mile. It was more like, let's see if we can. Not, we are pushing and we know we're going to win. It was more like, so it was just let's and see. Vibes. Yeah, because with Ole, there was never a guarantee with how he plays. How he plays. Like come there's on, no... Man. Honestly, yes. There's no identity. He'll go into the vibes with all this. So he was like, okay, about to okay, to know what will happen. But that was the expectation when so we were uh-huh. buying Car- facts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I was, I was interested to hear what you guys think. Because obviously, Jamie Carragher is saying, nah, United should be winning every trophy. And, and, uh, and the mentality is to be winning every game. Whereas Roy Keane being very, very honest, saying, no, this is not the state of United right now. We can't be c- uh, competing for every trophy. We're just a cup team. I mean, I think, I think Karaga has a point. <coughs> I think the reason why, if, 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 if it's at the beginning of the season, yes, that was me. That was the intention. Mm. The intention was to try and win the league. That's why we bought all these players that we bought. But reality check, you're not a team. Re- now we've sucked a manager. I think now Kara, reality yeah. is, now it has changed. Karaga has a point because if you look at United in the last four years, the mm. investment they've done 
400 million exactly plus. last season they finished second and they go world class players sancho world class varan world class cristiano the be- one of the best players in the world top two you <laughs> expect them to at least go that extra like the extra step yeah extra considering well maliza two and catch second man city exactly and win the league or be at least on top three right now they're not there they're not title contenders right now yeah so but i think cara as a point we expect them the expectation of money united are very high and like other clubs let's say like your arsenal, club, arsenal or tottenham Fox. or west ham facts hurtful facts on facts exactly. because of the investment they make the new guys which is true Sindio. yeah that's true so they invest a lot i do think cara has a point all that investment the players that you guys get the managers that you suck and bring in you should be competing for the lake title right now that is you true. should not be that sitting is what back, setting a team to go and sit back to get which a is point. how they won most of their games i keep telling united fans that so you guys are happy with ogs being having the best record against pep guardiola we right? never pet pep, pep uh, on, on on like just in dominating the, the game we, we, were, we were beating them by getting on counter that was even fucked. that run remember that run we created we made that coffin you got, sorry you and loton made that coffin you were there i was not there you're the short you guy literally guy. said we and I <laughs> yeah i know i mean we have <laughs> i misspoke <laughs> i misspoke <laughs> we'll make it 7k i know but i missed okay continue mm-hmm. anyway mm-hmm. um that coffin was made they had a run of zero rb leipzig psg mm-hmm. chelsea Arsenal. even that game where they beat rb leipzig five nil five goals were scored on the counter yeah it was always counter-attacking football and it's just going to remain that right now right now carrick has to do that he had to do that against Chelsea, he and he's to. gonna have to do that against Arsenal again. I, I, don't, I don't think we're doing counter against Arsenal. I'm sorry, <laughs> we are completely dominating Arsenal. That's ambitious. Completely That's really dominating ambitious. Arsenal. We are dominating Arsenal. Yeah, you guys can't even dominate what, Watford. We, we we can even play with one centre back. Wait wait wait, 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 It's not like you played so well versus Chelsea, but they. No, yeah. we didn't. But it's Chelsea. Uh, we respect Chelsea. Chelsea are a better team than than obviously than. What Arsenal. do you mean? Yeah. No, my point is. Tell me how you did against the Watford. <laughs> So that my point is, eh? tell me how you did against Leicester. Don't Lester. lie to yourself that you're going to do a complete dominance versus Arsenal. That's a fucking lie. We, we will because Arsenal is a small team. Mental, it's a mental. It's a right mental now they're thing. on form better than you guys. They're number four. I'm a number five. You guys they're are they're number four. Joint they're fourth. They're joint fourth. Okay, Oi, fifth. Joint fourth. Yeah, fifth. Yes. Exactly. Joint fourth. Because they've been winning matches. We are. We are, oh yeah, we are only eighth. We are only eighth. Money naturally can be proud of being eighth. Tottenham are ahead of you guys and they have a game in hand. And they lost to. They lost to NS Mura. NS Mura. <laughs> they lost a conference league team, lost a conference league game. Even Conte said he understands the situation. <laughs> and they're ahead of Champions League Manchester United with Mr. Champions League and Champions League Varane. Techn- what are you on about? <laughs> Technically, Mura. Uh, our, season, our season is changing from Thursday. Oh my God. Yeah. You, you always need... Uh, When's the last time you beat Arsenal? Let, let, When's the last time you beat Arsenal? Let, let me put it this you way. You weren't even in United United always, listen. <laughs> you beat Arsenal. There's always... There's always, there's always Linga uh, dancing on the dancing floor. Yeah. 2019. It's on Bali. It's the thing is, you, you no, always it's three. Fun. It's 2018. Eric, that was Eric, 2018. Of all the 20. people, Eric, you would understand this. What? When Emery beats uh, United, bro. Of all the people, you'd understand this. What? You'd just be going. Things may just be going south, and then you just see that one moment, and then things go up. But this is so football. playing Arsenal is how our are things going wait, south for wait, Liverpool. Wait, wait, no, no, relax. So about me. Oh. Us okay. playing, us That's playing, us, us mm-hmm. playing, Arsenal, Arsenal right now on Thursday is. It's like when Ozil DM'd him. Things oh, are about to change. Breakthrough. Things, things are, about are about to change. Okay. So okay. you do think that game is going to be the channel out for your season? The same way things are out for you. Yes. Well, I made Ozil famous in Africa. Hey! Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm afraid not. Saddam. That's not going to happen. We're going to continue well, our run uh, of winning games. But, you, game but you've been beating small teams. Yeah, small teams. We're gonna beat another. You've been small beating. Team. You've been beating teams that are struggling. You know what defines small teams? Teams that don't win trophies. Tell him we're gonna beat another team that hasn't won a trophy in a long you've, time. You've beaten <laughs> teams that have been presenting to you to play, apart from Man City and Liverpool. Yeah, and those and two teams. Beat, so wait, so Man City and Liverpool. Wait, Man City, Man City, Man City, Liverpool. They're not presented to them. No, I said apart from Man City and Liverpool, and that Man City and Liverpool beat you guys five and two nil. Oh, what about mm. Brentford? No, 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 no. Uh-huh. We're yeah. seeing from the 21st uh-huh. of September when, Brighton? They lost to when our season Fifth started. What about Brighton? Hmm? Brighton? They didn't lose to Brighton. We didn't lose to Yeah, them. you didn't win. We also didn't lose to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace? They Liverpool, didn't didn't, Liverpool didn't lose to Brighton and they didn't win either. We drew with Brentford 3-3. Three, three. At least they scored 3. And they drew with Brighton. And we lost to West Ham. Listen, all I'm saying is, right? I really don't understand how a managerless club will come or will host um, uh, a club that actually actually has a decent manager who arteta oh. <laughs> you can't be fifth 
<laughs> Without oh. being decent. He's not decent. He has more trophies than OGS and Michael Carrick. Like OGS, who, who's OGS? <laughs> who's OGS? <laughs> who's OGS? <laughs> he has more trophies. He actually he has who's as many OGS? trophies as Ragnik. You're slandering an, uh, a he has jobless man. trophies as Ragnik in the Bundesliga. Ah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, he won the <laughs> FA Cup of England. This guy won the FA Cup of Germany. Community Shield. No, no, Carabao Cup of Germany. It's the Carabao Cup? It's yes. not even the FA Cup? It's the Carabao Cup. Guy. So what you're saying is, Arteta has more serious trophies than... <laughs> <laughs> so, more major trophies. Hmm? Did he win the Community Shield of Germany that season? I'm not sure. We'll Probably not. Because mm. okay. if United okay. fans found out, they would have said yes. There's no Community Shield to go. There's no Community Shield? Mm. By any season, you can turn around on Thursday. I'm a, you can actually beat Arsenal, then go back to a full settings. Yeah, that, that's actually very likely. Mm. Honestly, to get up Arsenal... It's a big game, anyway. Things do change in big will. games. Listen, last time we had a manager who was wearing glasses against Arsenal, to get up Nani. What? Well, last time we had a manager with the glasses. Mm. What a weird statement. Imagine. That's like the weirdest that has no bearing in... Okay, that's you just the way for dance things. You guys have grown to love it. That's like 10 years, Bana. You time will quite United. We didn't have United. Ben White and Gabriel. Now that time they're winning late. And Luno Tavares number five. was the player of the week this season. Oh, this nice week. 20? 2011, August. Quite Yemen. All right, let's move on, man. I've never been to Yemen, actually. Let's move on. Liverpool. Yes. I can't believe those guys actually thought that Southampton will be an issue for you guys. <laughs> like I don't understand. Uliana celebration yeah Diogo Jota first goal. Mm. He sat on the floor cross-legged as if he's playing a game. And he could have had a hat trick. He was playing FIFA before that. Ah, oh yeah, somebody. he was playing a friendly tournament. International oh, tournament. Oh, that's mm. mad. Doing it there and then doing it on the pitch. Well, things are working for us right now. I do think we have the top scorers in the Premier League. 35 goals, yeah. So Mane, Salah and Jota on 7 or 8. Salah I think on 8, mm. Firmino on 4. There's no Arsenal, Chelsea, or Manchester player who has scored more than Firmino. So when it's escaped. Really? Yeah. How Tell many does Firmino have? Firmino, I think, has like four. Oh, Obama has the same. Exactly. That's why I said no players has scored mm, more than him. More, okay. So yeah, with Firmino obviously out right now, to in, due to injury, I do think we're, we're getting goals from Jota. And the other guys from Thiago. Thiago has actually now arrived in real sense. After two years. Well, it doesn't matter. And, and, and you, and you, and you really spent 30 million. Pepe on has a never arrived. They spent 72 million pounds. Sancho may arrive before Pepe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Champions League goal, Premier League goal. Two, two weeks, two, two goals in three just, days. Just two goals in Pepe three has days. Way more goals than him in the Premier League. It doesn't matter, but, but he has arrived. How does he not matter? He is good in Champions League. <laughs> anyway, we're selling Pepe. We're getting uh, Serge Gnabry <laughs> for free next season. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pepe but I don't see him these days. Ah, uh, William Bench, Martinelli is back. So you don't even miss him in January. He's we going, won't. We have Martinelli. He's going bro. to off-court. We're selling him, and then we're bringing Serge Gnabry, who was Arteta's teammate back in the day. So, yeah, I think about Liverpool, we were looking good What's now, happened? apart from Salah obviously not passing to money and there, man, not like converting some of those chances. Mm. Salah's got like 10 chances per game that you want to miss, mm. and then it's because like the hardest. So, are you saying Salah is not clinical? No, 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 no. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying he's because <laughs> no, 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 the no, hardest, no, no, and he misses the sim- <laughs> simplest by the and the other guys, Van Dijk now is back fully fit. Vizuri, Konat is actually like looking good. I'm very happy about him. Is he better than Matip? Who? Konat. I can't quite say that because I Matip has been there for quite long. Maybe he has a higher ceiling. Us. He can be better. The ceiling, problem with yeah. Matip is because of injuries. He likes play. He like plays like three or four games, then he gets injured. Although this season he's not been injured yet. He was one of the golden boys in 2010. That tells you a lot. The potential that you can get from Joel Matip, the best Cameroonian in Europe right now. So. Liverpool team, okay. we're good for now. The midfield, at least now we're getting the dream midfield that we wanted. That is Fabinho, Hendo, and Thiago. When Keita is that, fit, that is such an aging midfield. Like there is no future in that really midfield. Really scary because what if they no get future a in that midfield? Injury? What if they get a hamstring injury? We've uh, got Curtis uh, Jones. What you are Curtis, Curtis Jones is injured. Curtis jo- if, if you have a kid, if you have a kid, Nahanzi Sahi, he's not good enough. Yeah. What do you mean, Curtis Jones? Nahanzi Sahi, I'm a mere. He no, starts matches. If he was do, fit, he wouldn't we, start. We do rotate. We Bro, rotate. listen. We've got Keita. We've got Keita who is injured. Rotate. No, I'm saying we've got Keita who's injured. We've got Avi Elliot who's injured. Keita, Keita, is shit. It's not shit. He's better than Pogba. He has not arrived. Your manager said Keita is better than Pogba. But he has not arrived. Your new manager said that. What? Your new manager said Keita is a Ragnick. better player than Pogba. Really? Uh, maybe. Potential. Okay, he played he for. He doesn't know because he, he found out about Ragnik two days ago. 
<laughs> but maybe be, uh, as his player because he was his player. Your manager actually likes Curtis Jones. I'll send you that comment. We are careful of video. Who's the man I'm on give to me is on the fucking shit. But there's some never said to you. There's a video he's speaking about Liverpool from drill for like five minutes. But he he's he he mm. likes He's very but you should be happy about that because he tell you 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 see like what he's bringing to the table to your yeah, club. Yeah, he's an open book. Yeah. He says a lot of things that he thinks. Mm. Like so, Liverpool are back to wins on the bounce in the Premier League <laughs> and the Champions League. We move on. All right. Mm. So, so at least now and United now helped Liverpool at least to reduce the gap between Liverpool mm. and Chelsea. Although Man City play on their game, so at least now we can try and play better and win our games. Right, I don't Christmas. know why he's talking about like Jurgen Klopp, man. That's boring. Um, but at least I don't trash Afcon. Oh, so you admit he trashed Afcon? No, 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 no. Because <laughs> on air, I had him on the show on Saturday, and he didn't want to comment about it, and he didn't. Right? We actually got the cl- the the. Ali Katoko Sema. Ali Katoko Sema. Why? So tell us the fucking truth. Klopp right was now. taken out of context. Oh, but how could you? How no, no. You? Honestly, there's nothing wrong with saying it's, it's a small tournament. It's a small. It's a halas. There's nothing. No, wrong. for you, you can say it's a small tournament. You're from Somalia. You know, Somalia has never gone <laughs> to the Afcon. But for Klopp, <laughs> won't go for a while. Okay. Okay. But for club, people may feel that because he's European, he's German, he's from... He's, he lives no, in no, Eric, listen. In the same sentence, he spoke about AFCON as a little tournament, right? And then... It's he not said, an English and native another, speaker. Wait, and then there's, an, there's another tournament in, in Asia. Asia. English is not his first uh, language. Uh, why doesn't he say the same thing about Asia then? Context. No, nah, not context, bro. Listen, just just stop. By the way, talk. He should have at least apologized. He made a mistake. That's fine. People make mistakes. But I did apologize. that. I apologize on behalf of him. Who the fuck are you? I'm Eric. The guy who made Ozil famous in Africa. Yeah, yeah sure. okay. And Middle East. Why is he the, <laughs> why is he the representation of Middle oh, East? Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's yeah, continue. He's African, man. No, no, East Somalia African. is... Uh, our, um, list. Usianze, Usianze. We're in Gulf. <laughs> Gulf. <laughs> Arabian <laughs> Union. <laughs> All right, no worries. <laughs> who is the best player in Somalia? Uh, apart from me? Ibrahim Mao. Yeah, <laughs> Ibrahim Mao is the best. He, he's actually played for Kenya. Uh, here. I'm sure like, they're like country Saddam so better than this guy in Somalia. <laughs> 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 well, uh, listen, come on, he's not. He's not the measuring stick, please. Oh yeah, he's actually by go rejected by Arabian stars. When you Somalis, but then ballers could go Kenya. Somalia on your ball, Vizuri. Me, the only thing I know is there is no one in Embu better than me. I that, can say no, well, why I can swear. I can give you two places of play for Arabian stars up. from Embu. And you've never played for Arambi Stars. Can I give you two names? I have played for Arambi Stars. What's wrong you've with you? not. Uh, what, How many I, cups do you have? I will. I have one cup. We're back. Which game did you play? I have mm-hmm. one cup. We're back, guys. Ati? We're back to this conversation. Arambi Stars right, versus? Right. Huh? Ulicheza game Ghani? Kenya versus? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Premier League. Mauritius. No, Mauritius. We yeah. We've never played Mauritius in Kenya. No. Oh, excuse me. It was back in 2010. Oh, it was under 20. You would have known. You would have known. We'll go happy. It was under 20. 2010. 2010. We'll go happy. 2010. We'll go happy. 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 Let's move on to the next. So you actually got a rejection by the junior team. You guys are getting sucked into this, and it's. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of talking about Saddam's lack of talent. No offense. And so. All due respect. None taken. Okay. Um, speaking of uh, lack of talent, Norwich at the Norwich, Newcastle suck right now. Um, but you know, I think Arsenal made them really look sh- look like shit. So yeah. Nuno Tavares, man of the match performance. He redeemed himself after that Anfield disaster class. I expected that. I expected that. About my young playing like Vana. Yeah, yeah, Bamang Bamang is another version, does he still man. play? What the hell, man? We need to sell him. We'll lie, we need to sell him. I'm done. Should get done inks. You know, I actually said this, bro. <laughs> S- sell one of Lacazette or Aubameyang and bring in Danny Ings. We'll lie, Danny Ings will ban go. Yes, that is a sugar quake club. Danny Ings is a better striker than any striker these guys have. Uh, hmm? Except Ronaldo. Bullshit. He's better than Cavani. Uh, what? He is. Would you agree? <laughs> <laughs> you're talking shit. Yes. How do you see <laughs> some of his goals? <laughs> Cavani is his tapping. The Nings played for us. Kansus, huh? He played for us, so I have to put him number one. But he's your reject. It's not our reject. He got injured. Like he had so many injuries. But, in but he list. couldn't make it in Liverpool. There's yeah. nothing wrong with you. It's him. He was unlucky. Yeah, he was unlucky. You can't say he failed. He was just unlucky. Like he was just like Andy Carroll. Anyway, no, Andy Carroll was given his chances and for Liverpool. Failed. Okay, let's continue Zoom. Anyway, uh, this is the kind of response I wanted. Arsenal back in the goals scored some really good good goals and yeah, Thomas Martinelli's goal was really good and the assist from Japanese Bissaka. Was, yeah, no, no, it was poor. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor, poor, poor. Oi. It was poor, Bissaka poor. Bissaka is the Congolese 
Tomiyasu. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, because please, we have a actually good right back. That's a But they do not Congo has a chance to go to the World Cup. Does it? They in the playoffs. Really? Yeah, the last 10 countries. So Congo and Italy are the same. Well, Congo have a better chance because they only play one game. Whereas Italy if they win and games. they go to Italy have to play Montenegro, I mean, yeah. And Portugal. And not and Portugal. Portugal going to lose to Turkey. So <laughs> it's Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Turkey versus either Italy or North Macedonia. I, I just love the fact that there's a possibility that Donnarumma might not go and mm. Chalanoglu might not go. So you should advise you're being, your guy. You're fucking you're love that shit. Tell your guy Nani would be sucker to consider playing for Congo. There are a few months to go t- until March, then he can speak to his coach and end the World Cup. At least for once. You will never play for England. There's livramento. Anyway, I don't give a fuck about uh, fucking Congo and shit, man. Uh, Arsenal passed the ball 16 times before Bukayo Saka's goal. Did you see that goal? Yeah, I, I think the first goal. I got my bet, so I watched the, the entire game. The thing with Saka is, really he'll, he'll, he'll score one goal no, now, he'll score the next goal next month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds like Jaden Sancho. Are you comparing Saka with Sancho? He's better than Sancho. So are you doing that? Yes, I am. I'm saying it outright. You are saying Saka. because Saka is better than Sancho. Yes. That's based on what? Based on, first of all, form. Current form right now. Based what form? What form? What form? form is what form? form? Class is permanent. No, no. Based Sancho, has, Sancho has scored in the last two games. Based on World Cup what selection. What form? What form? Based on World Cup selection. Well, it was the same squad. And the whole coaching staff. Well, he's a, that, that's not just one guy. It's not just Gareth Southgate. It's Gareth Southgate and friends. They decided... This guy, That's bench. A no. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to hear it's it, bro. Only. Yeah. He came on and missed the penalty. Who? Sancho. Yeah. No, at least, yeah, I'll call bench. I'll call Mateza. Saka was playing and he missed the penalty. But that's Gareth Southgate's fault. It's not our fault. Missing a penalty? Yeah. What do you mean? He's not crying here. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Gareth Southgate's fault. Anyway, Arsenal But I do think Sancho is a massive talent than Bukayo. By far. Massive talent. But on form this season, I do think, obviously, Sancho has not been getting the goals. You can but, see. but things are changing. You are agreeing things are changing. You can if, we, say, if we get the okay, Dortmund, Zuma Sancho, the point it's of This season and last season, like, Saka yeah. has been performing well. All this guy does. Last this season, guy, all this Sancho guy does. was banging more goals than Saka. Oh, yeah, last season, That's Sancho was not the league. But he was banging, banging. Uh, Bundesliga attacks. Yes, yes. I don't give a shit about Bundesliga players. Look at, look at Timo Werner. His shit. Look at Leroy Sané. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. yeah. No, that one you're out. He's shit as well. No, he was world class when he was playing for for Man City. Young yeah, player. He, he I'll talk a Schalke. He was Man City. How he has was he? Good season. And he was named young player of the year. How many goals did exactly? He was a young player of the year. How many goals did uh, Mkhitaryan score when he left the Bundesliga? That's the same thing with uh, this guy. Mkhitaryan. No, that 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 was a poor Sancho. poor transfer. What do you mean? Ugh. I don't want to hear it, man. This guy poor mm-hmm. transfers to two different clubs that in the Premier League. Oh, Mkhitaryan. Uh, Mkhitaryan yeah. is shit. Oh, so now he's shit. Oh, yeah, he's not question about it. Same way that Jadon Sancho is struggling. No, Bukayo Saka is just better. No, he's not. He is. He hasn't even played in Germany. Sorry. And he shouldn't need to. <laughs> and he shouldn't need to. <laughs> if it was good enough, he would have been bought by a German club when he was young. But All right. He's still young comments, though. Comments, comments, comments section. Saka or Sancho? Let me know. By Munich came, we catch Kuwa Nabri, we catch Saka. Saka was not there then. Yeah. Only, only that is Kitambo Saddam. Okay, so <laughs> you only come on five years ago, isn't it? Mm. I'm on four. I think um, Saka is like 19. I'm a, I'm a 20. 20 now. Yeah. They I took Bellingham or Kata Saka. Okay. Bellingham oh, is that was a massive years. transfer. Baka Shat was retired. Yes, Shat was retired. He is <laughs> shat, he built a statue <laughs> for him at Birmingham. He's going to replace Handel next season. Massive. Who is that? So? Yeah, I think he'd rather go to Manchester. If we have money. Man City. <laughs> we have money. Yeah, you know <laughs> Liverpool and money this this and come out. I saw I saw there's a chance that uh, Haaland might be brought in by Ragnik. So this is the reason why we have this German guy. You're not going to give mm-hmm. Michelle a chance. Mm-hmm. Fuck Michelle. He's the next Andre. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Do you know Mbappe wanted to be like Marshall? I ended Arsenal. I ended Arsenal. Mbappe wanted to be like, Marshall. Uh, so like, Mbappe Mbappe right, to be like Marshall. No way. In 2015. Mbappe was <laughs> like 16 years. <laughs> now Marshall. Uh, and he made a big, big transfer to Man United. And now Marshall. Oh. So he Marshall was going to be Mbappe was scored. Hmm? It's mad. World Cup winner. Anyway, things do happen. Yeah. And things do happen. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think Man City beating West Ham in the way that they did is the reason why they're going to win the league compared to like Liverpool losing to West Ham. I know Liverpool beat Crystal Palace and West Ham and Crystal Palace beat Man City. It's just the dominance that Man City have. It just it yeah, just makes me know, feel like they're the favorites and then Liverpool and then Chelsea. If if it goes despite to, that being a like complete different order. If you know it goes I mean? down to the goal difference, Man City are going to win this thing. You know Man City. But you have better goal difference now. 
for now the entire, if you look at the entire season mm. man city are going to beat teams like 5 nil 5 nil 5 nil 4 nil 5 nil we we'll do like 1 nil 2 nil no when you guys have just beaten arsenal 4 nil then you follow that up we beat arsenal full nil. every season ouch <laughs> <laughs> they haven't scored less than 3 Exactly. Man United five. Atas Temer Rogers with this guy. Temer Rogers with Kolochure and Skate. For the last five seasons, Skate scored two goals for these these guys. It was our Tata's fault that season. Tata, <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, As a player, it was. He was doing so shit that season. He was getting he was injury prone. So anyway. yeah. So uh, like you said, Man City, they have depth, and our they guys are going to play Afcon in January. Play players going for Afcon. So exactly. And the way they are playing, Man City, when they were kicking Chapa, they will make sure you think you're shit. They don't just score at it. You've lost that's two goals and you. I'm afraid more about Man City than Chelsea. Of course, that's how. Mm. It's, I mean, that's that's, that's, that's a logical be. thing. Mm. That's a logical thing. Non, uh, to judge. Yeah. No, no, no. There's no judgment to be made. Uh, yeah. That's I'm the right thing. Imagine, imagine if I'm going to score again. Huh? Imagine if I'm going to score again. Oh, we. He, yeah. He would have been banging goals right mm. now. He's just. What's that guy? Who got touched? Never. Every week, what happened? He is actually depressed. Every week, what happened? What's that guy? Who got? How much score? No. Kevin is better for us. Who? What? Kovan is tired. I don't think Arikin improves us. I'm sorry. Why did you want him? You wanted yeah. Arikin. All Vibes. of you guys. Gary Neville wanted. <laughs> Who the fuck is Gary Neville? Roy Keane. Gary Neville is your guy. A spokesman. He's a club spokesman, pretty much. Pretty 92, he? class for 92 spokesman. I don't like him, though. He Nobody don't. does. He doesn't like you, too. He doesn't even know you. Who are you? Okay. Why, why, why are you being so personal? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Wait. I'm sorry. Ozil's friend's African assistant. Or friend, uh, assistant. Acquaintance. <laughs> Acquaintance. No, guy. I'm a British acquaintance. No, but I'm Ozil's African. Ozil's African representative's friend. I think you should have started with. So friend. any African. I think because of grammar, you should have started with friend. I'm the friend too. <laughs> yeah, your grammar is not grammar. <laughs> <laughs> Where your grammar right, because grammar? Yes. Predictions. Let's For do what? Predictions. Thursday night. Oh, you guys are playing Everton, but nobody gives a shit. Do you think Rafael will be sacked? Yeah. I, I actually so. asked you that question on Saturday, and then yeah, you yeah, yeah, lost to Watford. So. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. I think he's going to be sacked by the time we play him on Monday. You play them play, on Monday? We play everything on Monday, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I think, mm. you know, they lose to Liverpool. Then by the time the weekend comes around, he's sacked. Um, you guys are playing on Monday in this Champions League that week? Yeah. <laughs> We're a Premier League team, bro. <laughs> I choose the Champions League. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Kumbuka. Yeah. And they're playing Everton, who is also nowhere. They're not in Europa League? Europa Cup? It's all London clubs apart from us and who are not in the European competitions. No, and Brentford, apart from Chelsea. And Palace and Chelsea are Champions League. West Ham won Europa League number oh, one. Okay. West Ham won the group. This is Jamaica Zikwata Conference. That's sad. Hmm? Sad as shit. Yeah, and there's no European football in, at your place. We don't want it. You guys play Sunday to Sunday. Is West Ham the only one you offer? Honestly, it honestly, Europa, Le- Europa honestly, Conference League. Is West Ham now a bigger club than Arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> for the last two seasons no he's bigger he's like the better because bigger club means trophies and money and stuff and they can't do that they can't they can't win the league in two months in two seasons when, when i say big i don't care about money well i care about success and money is part of big, bigger club but i say i, I don't consider so money. we can say is west Ham the best club in london right now after Chelsea? If i say money newcastle ask, is a big club relax okay we should ask are they like the best club now in london after chelsea Who? it's west Ham after chelsea yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's that's a decent point like uh, based on what he said the last two, two seasons. Last two years, including this year. They what even points? have better players, Declan Rice, In- Antonio. Antonio is a better player than Obama and Sai. I agree. Ah. <laughs> there is no clue. What do you mean? Lanzini. Rice Chris, is, okay, Chris is better than who? Lanzini is better than who? <laughs> yes, Rice, is, <laughs> Rice, Rice, is, Rice is the best. Declan Rice is better than right El Neni and Rice can and Thomas compete Parten. with Mohamed El Neni for, for bench. I shut the fuck up. I'm serious. You're, you're not even going to miss that guy I can't have called. It's in there. We are. El Neni. Oh, El Neni, yeah. Pepe Renda. I hope so. Did they no, did they they were qualify every course, no? Every course to the World Cup. No, that's the World Cup that they oh, missed. Oh, I don't okay. Mm. I, I, honestly, I'm I'm happy. Martinelli came in, made a difference. Cuz that's that's who I want us to depend we, on. We were talking Pepe. about how he didn't have a shot shot on target for one year. Who? <laughs> Martinelli and then But he played a few hey, games. What a goal as well, man. Oh. Well, I was poor goalkeeping, honestly. Keep nah. on getting there. Any prediction? So, I think Ronaldo Arsenal customers. I think Ronaldo is scoring a brace game match at Tunnel. Jadon Sancho assist. Akitaka, if you want. My prediction is that we keep a clean sheet. Okay. And Against Mr. Ronaldo. Yeah, and Ronaldo scored in Nani. He was a big man. City and Liverpool. Why are you mentioning those two games? Why are you mentioning those two games? Why are you mentioning those two games? Because when you talk about Manchester City and Liverpool, you're talking about Arsenal as well. Why are you mentioning those big clubs? We're talking about Arsenal. Big games. Traditionally, a big club. We're talking about Arsenal though. Okay, game was for Al Guabi. 
That's a good point. <laughs> he gave an assist. He gave an assist. <laughs> he gave an assist. <laughs> he, gave an assist. <laughs> he, gave an assist. he helped Donny Van de Beek suck with yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what he was doing. So that was a masterclass from Mr. Sue. Mr. Sue. <laughs> uh, my prediction is clean sheets and minimum two goals from us. Who will score for you? I don't know. Most likely Saka. And Martinez. And, and, and Emil Smith Rowe. What happened to your front guys? Like in Obamang, the Lakers. What know. happens if I win? We have to. We have to forfeit. Forfeit what? Yeah, we we need a forfeit. Yeah. What's a forfeit? I don't know. Even. Like if a bet. I, yes. Yeah, I don't know. What do you want? If if United win, mm-hmm. next episode you're drinking five liters of water before we start. I'm gonna shave your beard. Five liters of water. No, yes. I'm a, whoever loses shaves his beard. Okay, I, fine. Oh, he doesn't have a beard. To fine. Shave. Fine. He doesn't have a beard to shave. Yeah, Ketan, very fast. We'll play two ones. What do you mean? <laughs> la, la, la. Listen, listen. It, it, Hair. I have more to lose. Listen. Hair. He young. Hair versus This is beard. seven years of work. Genuine work. Now, That's seven years of work. <laughs> Genuine work. Yeah, can I pack a shampoo and stuff? Zingine. If I shave now, the next time I told you, twenty twenty nine. Genuine work. Honest work. Ah, mm. oh, that's sad. We should do something else, Basi. Five liters of water. Choose. Five liters of water. Okay. And then if you lose. That should be the same. Five liters of water. Hmm? What? Well, I don't get it. What's the point of five liters of water? I don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. Fuck it. Why not? So, <laughs> well, if, let me uh, ask you. If, and if we draw, nothing happens. Eric okay. drinks five liters of water. <laughs> five liters of water. I agree. All right, shake so? on it. Then I want to come next Monday. Shake on it. No, you can't bet on behalf of me. So, okay, well, you can draw. You bet on behalf of me. No, me, I'm a part of this game. Me, I want to enjoy the game. I'm a neutral. Let me give my prediction. I, I'm going for one nil. To United, they have that little momentum right now. <laughs> a draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a big thing for United getting a draw. Chelsea. Oh my God. Champions That's League hilarious. win. And Champions League. Champions League win. Okay. And a draw. And, and, and new manager bounce. Exactly. exactly. You actually know better. I have to help him with this point. <laughs> <laughs> so Fuck yeah, one nil to United. But let me ask you guys: Who are the favorites going to this game? Arsenal. I think um, I think it's fair. There's no favorites. No, I think I think it is Arsenal. We have we are the best team, obviously. Pressure is on who? Like you see on Sunday. You have the best team against Leicester. Yeah, the best like team against Watford. On yeah, Sunday, the best team against Aston Villa. Yeah, the best team against uh, Liverpool. Yeah, the best team against uh, who else? Chelsea. Still when you look at the nothing. game that you played, we Chelsea, Chelsea were like the up pressure. Like they they were required to win. They felt like we have to get the three points. So we're feeling like that now going to Thursday between Arsenal and United. It's us. Honestly, I think if we lose, um, Karik should be sacked. It's right. It's been sacked, of course. Saik, Nani is taking over. Ragnik. They have already confirmed. Yeah, sorry. You can't sack anyone. Yeah. Sack Ragnik. <laughs> First game, by the way. To us, no, sack him. No, honestly, to Kichapo, it'll be very sad. I'll just be sad. Let me tell you right now. Eric, Eric, let me tell you right now. If I don't get the three points against this United team, I'm going to be distraught. Distraught. <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be depressed. That's what I'm gonna be. Dep- like this United team. You know who started in midfield? Matic, McTominay, McTominay, and Fred, and fucking Fred. <laughs> and I mean, we can't beat them. And really they needed a penalty to be to, to to get a draw from us. So well, penalties are part of the game, you know. That was a soft penalty, though. Is, sac- that, is that a penalty in the year 1999? No. 1999. Of course, no. Exactly my point. Like in Sayyid, there are other things to consider. There's VAR to look at the situation. The but no, but even if there was VAR in 1910, that is not a penalty. That's a small point. Anyway, we're going to have chances to convert. Aye. What's the rude guy? What's the rude guy? What's going to happen now? Fred had the best chance. I don't think if you guys right? lose, you should do soon and then record and do it later. Rudy had the best chance. No. If you're afraid of Pasiwa, that was. That was like if you're afraid of Pasiwa, that was. Like if you're I don't know why it was exactly. so difficult. That's why I think Even that was, that was a, a better chance than Ile Rudiger. It just shows that haram football cannot stop haram. And then Kalu Murtz and Odoi, the first one, Odoi, the first one, the first few minutes. Nah, that's a good save. He did <sighs> try, but it's a bad the keeper miss. was. Nah, that was a good save. Yeah. Bamang scores that one. And no, he no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Come on, let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yo, let me tell you, bro. We beat United. We finished in the top four. Are you very sure about that? Absolutely. I think we're just being overcarried by, by the joy right now. You're feeling that. Yeah, by beating Sju Newcastle and Sju Burnley and Norwich, you you are getting carried away. By the way, you're mm. still shit. I don't care. If you lose to United, I don't think we're shit. If we have to shit. Be shit. Oh, no. If you lose to United, you do sue, then you post on Twitter. You know, we're only five points behind Liverpool. We're not, even, the fuck is Liverpool? We're not even a ball. We're number three. Yeah. Yeah, number three. That's 
Look at Chelsea. And we're number guys. eight. Number three. Why? Number we're not t- challenging for the title. We're challenging for top four. You're taking us, and guys. You're the closest guys from the pack. No, it's, there's a we're number the four. This is West Ham. Wait, wait. West Ham no, is about West Ham to know Peter. Huh? Yeah, West Ham to know Peter. Based on what? It's only a matter of time. Ogbonna is injured. That's their best centre back. Nine months ruled out of the but season. But he was before Kitambo. Michael Antonio. I just talk about him about. Let's just read it in a form. Who scored? Who scored for Man City? Uh, See, for for West Ham. Who oh. scored for West Ham? See, for now, Lanzin, for now, Lanzin, Lanzin. I guess scored one goal a season. Ben Rama, good goal. huh? It was a very good goal to be. Honest. Ben Rama scores for Essam. Ali had more chances. That's just the yesterday. Bro, game. man, I'm telling you, man. Listen, you guys have the, what's what's one thing in common you guys have? All four. All, uh, sorry, not you guys. The guys in top yes, four. yes, yes, yes. The guys in the top four. See, we've. We have money. We have German coaches. <laughs> we have German, German coaches. coaches. No, we have German we coaches. We all have European football. We have German yeah, coaches. Your voice is Scottish, bro. You're not in the top four. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about West Ham, not that United. <laughs> no, West Ham United. You, you said top well, four. One of the English are quite top four now. Yeah, how are you top four? Not even top eight. Oh, German. Who else is manager? Only consultant. Interim. He's a contractor. Yeah. Excuse me. West Ham, Liverpool, City, Chelsea. Not the Mukona. European football. European football. Mm-hmm. What does Arsenal not have? European football. So what do we do midweek? How do you, you how rest. do you use wait? How no, do you no, use no no no, no, no no let's let's wait. What do we do midweek? You chill. We just chill. Yes. We train, we're resting, and, and tweet stuff and yeah. go to FTV. West and come Ham back. at some point, what chance of Pata my injuries? Sindio. Mm-hmm. Liverpool, Tari Mukona my injuries. Liverpool or Dr. Nika Tano, whether don't take injuries us, or not. I... You're the weakest link. What? <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool would have gone five nil no, with, no, with, with four players. The, you're Chelsea the, is the weakest, weakest link. No, you're the second weakest link. Liverpool will beat you with four players. So that's fine. Bro, but we're still gonna finish top. You four. cannot. I don't know how someone in top eight is talking to me about top four. <laughs> top eight. So <laughs> you finished. You finished eighth. Two seasons in a row. Shut up. And we're changing that. We're also changing that. What do you mean? Yeah, you're changing that. You finished top three. <laughs> two Zoom. seasons in a row. Now you're top eight. But you see, Zoom. <laughs> not playing Euro doesn't directly translate. You're going to make top four. Exactly. Kina, a kina Everton, a kina yeah. Norwich, or Konga. At a Leeds, yeah. Aako, in Aako, Champions League, yes. in Europa. Yeah, but they have a shit manager. We have a decent manager. Marcelo Biel is a better manager than Ateta. Kasi yaki ni kwa kakali ya Kisti Pali Tatlan. That's all he does. Akifanya hivi. Come on, bro. What does he do? Biel sa ayuko level ya Ateta. Yes, true. Ateta ni level ya kina nani, kina Pilo. That guy was not even an Everton legend. Ateta likuwa nini kwanza? Ateta... He even never played for Spain, but they... Do you know Zero that? Cups. Zero Cups. Yeah, na Saddam... Oh, almost... <laughs> <laughs> Ateta na Saddam nini? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Say it. <laughs> Ateta na Saddam has yeah, the most... Zero Cups! <laughs> zero Cups! <laughs> <laughs> but at least Ateta was benched by Iniesta. Wait, wait. Yeah, who are you benched by? <laughs> hey, Malo. Malo. Hey, At <laughs> <laughs> She's the money, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, that's Eric's shit prediction. He's not very good at predictions, by the way. He's called the Bro. chief jinxer. I so predicted know, Arsenal to win. Gonna lose. No, listen. I said Arsenal to win, and Liverpool to win. Man City, and they won last weekend. You said four nil, which was correct, right? Yes. I said you're going to win two nil, and you uh, what do you predict for Chelsea? Chelsea? What do you predict for Chelsea? No, United? Chelsea. I said uh, Chelsea it's not a prediction. I said this is what I want to happen. I said that's not a prediction. Like what's the prediction? I said I again? wanted Chelsea to lose, to dro- actually to drop points, mm-hmm. and they did that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. So, no worries. Anyway, Chief Jinxer has uh, said United will so doom. They're gonna lose uh, two nil minimum for for me, and uh, one nil. That's the standards they have. I think Cristiano Ronaldo. Two nil. You say Ronaldo Brace. Oh, Brace. Okay. So. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and massive thanks to our partners, Tropical Heat and the Be a Hero campaign. Make sure you guys plug into yourselves. Uh, plug yourselves into it. Don't plug into yourselves. That's <laughs> uh, plug yourselves into that campaign and make sure you take part in the Every Act Counts campaign because it is well and truly the fact that every act counts. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>